Hello everyone, I am Sajad and you are watching Pharma Inform. Today we will discuss what are excipients, what are the properties of a good excipient and what is the role of excipient. We will also discuss the examples of excipients. Basically excipient playlist is also available on our channel in Urdu language but now we will convert the complete playlist in English for easy and conceptual understanding so let's start our video what is excipient as you know that excipients are an integral component of any dosage form so an in-depth knowledge of excipients is required to formulate any dosage form we can select right excipient and right quantity of an excipient if we know about the classification system of the excipients about the origin of excipients and their compatibility properties so in this playlist we will discuss in detail classification of excipients we will also discuss all the excipients one by one in detail so the first video is the introductory and short video so let's start our video what is an excipient first of all its history basically excipient word is derived from a latin word excipere its mean to accept for easy understanding excipere mean to accept mean other than if we describe excipients in short words then we can define excipients as the ingredients or materials other than api or active pharmaceutical ingredient are known as excipients or known drug components of the dosage form are known as excipients but for a detailed definition the excipients are defined as the excipients are those substances which are pharmacologically inert and are used in dosage form other than active pharmaceutical ingredient are known as excipients so what are the characteristics of a good excipient we will discuss one by one some main characteristics which must be present in any excipient to use it in the dosage form first one is the inert the excipient must be pharmacologically inert second one is the non toxic the excipient must be non toxic and non irritant third one is the regulatory requirement we know that for the pharmaceutical industries we have many regulations we have many regulatory bodies so the excipient must meet the requirement of the regulatory bodies the next one is that the excipient must not be contaminated by itself the example is sucrose or by any component of it mean like sodium component in simple words the excipient must not be contaminated by its own components or by own self next one is that the excipient must be chemically and physically stable and it must be cheap mean the cost of excipient must not be very high and it must be easily commercially available the next one is the free from microbial load the excipient must be free from the microbial load and it must not have any deleterious effect on the drug bioavailability these are some basic properties of a good excipient now we will discuss what is the role of excipients or what are the functions which are performed by the excipient we know that only api are pharmacologically active but we cannot take api alone we need some specific excipients to formulate a dosage form so excipients help in manufacturing of a drug delivery system excipients are used to enhance the drug solubility next one is that excipients are used to enhance drug bioavailability 
एक्सीपियंट्स आर ऑल्सो यूज टू एनहांस और मेंटेन द ड्रग स्टेबिलिटी नेक्स्ट वन इज डेट एक्सीपियंट्स आर यूज टू एड बल्क टू द फॉर्मुलेशन assistance in the api handling is also the main role which is played by the excipients next one is that excipients are used to enhance patient compliance excipients help in product identification like colorants and excipients are also used to modify the taste of any drug substance what are the example of excipients main examples of excipients there is a huge list of excipients in the next video we will discuss classification system of the excipients and detailed examples of the excipients but for some understanding example of excipients are like starch lactose microcrystalline cellulose these are the example of excipient i hope this video will be helpful for you do subscribe our channel because this list will be very helpful and conceptual and after watching this complete playlist you will be able to design a formulation because you will be able to know many advanced and <coughs> do watch the complete playlist because after watching this complete playlist you will be able to learn all about the excipients their classification system and their properties their incompatibility data i will try to add all these in this playlist and we will also learn to design a formulation so if you, if you like the video share it to others and do subscribe my channel also visit our website farmandform.com